Hi everyone, welcome back to Sugar Mama TV, your financial coach, counsellor and creator. So this video is all about how I manage my time. Um, I'm actually a single mum and um, I have two businesses, obviously Sugar Mama TV, but my main business is my financial planning practice, SAS Financial. Um, and I also have two dogs, so my life is pretty uh, busy and I work full time. So. Um, this is uh, one mother actually asked me to do a video, um, a lady from France actually requested I do a video about how I manage my day to day living and um, tr you know make the most of my time and try and like I guess get through the day as efficiently and as stress free as possible. So I thought I would share my five top tips for any um, busy person who's looking to I guess streamline their life and just make it a little bit more, make their day a bit more smoother and um, free flowing. So my number one tip is keep a house, keep your house clean and tidy. Now, my two-year-old makes an absolute mess. Toys everywhere, Lego everywhere, um, dog balls, you know, bouncing off walls, um, dog hair everywhere. Like it's, it's my house is messy. But I make a conscious effort at the end of the day to put everything away and and keep the house as tidy as possible. And one little trick that I've learned before I go to bed, I either put 10 things away or I set an alarm clock, um, a timer for 10 minutes and I just try and tidy as much of the house as possible in 10 minutes and it's good because it gives you, you're kind of racing against the clock so you quickly rush to put as many things away as possible and wipe down things and it means um, by having a clean and tidy house before I go to bed, when I come down in the morning um, to start my day, the house looks so much more peaceful and tranquil and it's just a an easier way to start the day and find things and, and you know get the day rolling when you've got a clean and tidy house and also um, it's just a, a really peaceful way to end the day so keeping a house clean and tidy more so tidy than me for than clean um, makes my day so much easier the second thing is I wake up really early like 5 a.m. ish um, I don't use an alarm clock I just naturally wake up at that time and um, it is the most peaceful and most productive time of the day for me. I'm able to clear all my emails. Um, I'm able to um, set my intention for the day, think about my goals, things that I want to achieve for the day. Um, I, uh, it, it's a really sort of peaceful, um, there's no distractions, there's no phones ringing, there's no, um, no emails coming in. It's a very powerful um, part of the day and I learned about this technique by reading a book called The Monk Who Sold His Ferrari and it talks about the power of getting up at 5am and, and getting things done and you can use that time for some either meditation or for exercising or for um, you know just simply you know planning your day out. So um, since doing getting up so early in the morning um, I definitely think it's one of the best things um, that I've ever done for myself and I um, you know, before it's 9am I've already got so many tasks done and I feel really good about myself and I have a good sense of, um, I guess, a feeling of control and achievement. So if you can, try and get up a little bit earlier and um, I don't recommend just suddenly getting up at 5am, slowly make your alarm clock um, go off in the morning maybe 20 minutes earlier each day so you kind of lean into getting up earlier. Um, third thing is, and this is my biggest, um, my best tip for anyone who um, wants to I guess get more efficiency out of their day is I don't watch any television and that's really weird because I have three TVs in my house um, but it's very very rare for me to watch TV I'll watch maybe a little bit of the news um, and that's pretty much it so I don't waste any time getting distracted when I'm playing with my son Rocco um, it's you know I feel really connected to him and I'm actually getting quality time with him and engaging with him um, when he's finally down and in bed, I, um, you know, I'll either read or I might watch something on YouTube. Um, I'll, you know, cuddle with my dogs. Um, I'll tidy up the house or, um, you know, do some sort of meditating or something just for myself. But um, I don't. I find that when I watch television, suddenly two and a half hours just go by like that, and that's something I could have been doing that would have been useful for myself. So. Yeah, not much television at all. If you, um, I definitely recommend trying it. And you know what? I don't miss watching television at all. Um, and I read the newspaper, so I, I know what's going on. So even missing the news isn't too much of a drama. Um, fourth thing is I use my lunch breaks. Um, 
I don't, um, I go to the gym at lunchtime, so um, I, it stops me from wandering around the city um, looking at all the shops and getting temptation. Um, I, I go to the gym, I have a really good workout, and then I grab something um, really healthy from the, the cafe. I'm a member of Virgin Active um, in the city and uh, Moore Park, and it's fantastic. I can, I use that time um, instead of just sitting there eating, zoning out. Um, I actually, you know, jump on a treadmill, go for a run or do a class um, and, and then grab something healthy and go back to work. And it, again, it's a really efficient use of my time. It enables me to get some exercise in while still being, you know, a, a single mum with a young child, which is, helps me feel good about myself. And um, I, when I've exercised, I tend to eat healthier. My far, uh, last and uh, fifth tip um, for having an efficient day and managing your time better is I try and plan my outfit before I go to bed. Even if I just sort of think about, okay, well, tomorrow I've got this client meeting, I'm going to wear this skirt with this top. Um, it saves me in the morning, especially when it's winter and it's cold in bed. Um, uh, it saves that kind of um, fashion um, pause where you're sort of wondering, okay, well, I'll get out of bed when I work out what to wear. When I know what I'm going to wear, I've got it planned out. It's much easier for me to jump out and quickly get dressed. And I know that because I've thought about what I'm going to wear, the outfit tends to look pretty good. So um, that's pretty much it um, uh, for, my, for this video. Just a, a little bit of a different one about how I run my day. I hope it helps. I hope you can incorporate some of the tips in your everyday life. Um, let me know which ones um, you like and let me know if you have any other ones that you think might help for me. So ciao for now and I'll see you soon. Bye.